In case you didn't know it already, the Obamas are rich. And it's not just that they have a couple million earned from their time spent in the White House. With smart money moves and a lot of charisma, the Obamas are a billion-dollar brand in the making. Here's how much they're really worth. The Obamas were already doing just fine before they moved into the White House after the 2008 presidential election. Barack and Michelle's careers were taking off, and daughters Malia and Sasha were receiving private school education. In fact, the family had already become part of the Million Dollar Club. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Obamas' 2006 tax return shows that Barack earned just over $150,000 as a U.S. senator and raked in more than $500,000 in book sales. While the rookie U.S. senator may have been nabbing more head lines at the time, his wife's career was certainly nothing to sneeze at. Michelle reportedly brought in more than $51,000 serving on the board of the controversial Treehouse Foods and earned a healthy $273,618 as vice president of community and external affairs at the University of Chicago Hospitals. As President of the United States, Barack earned a $400,000 salary plus an expense allowance, a non-taxable travel account, an allotment for entertainment, the ability to travel around in a plane, limo, or chopper, and a rent-free pad at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. According to CNBC, that kind of dough is, quote, enough to put the president among the top 1% of earners in the United States. All former presidents receive an annual pension for life plus other perks. It's called the Former Presidents Act, and according to the Washington Times, that legislation hooks up Obama with $207,800 annually, plus medical care, staff, and Secret Service protection. According to the Houston Chronicle, the fiscal year 2018 budget included a $536,000 request for office space for Obama. Barack is an influencer, and as you probably know by now, it pays well to possess that kind of pull. Would you like Obama to speak at your conference or birthday party? Be prepared to shell out a cool $400,000 for the privilege. The former first lady also earns a pretty penny for her thoughts. In 2017, Michelle was reportedly earning as much as $200,000 per speech, but following the 2018 release of her best-selling book, Becoming, Michelle launched a massive book tour that brought in the big bucks. According to the Washington Post, her sales included ticket packages ranging from $29.50 for perches in the nosebleeds to $3,000 for front row seats. Considering everything that Michelle and Barack touch turns to gold, it's no wonder they rake in millions as writers. According to a 2017 Forbes report, the former president has made $8.8 .8 million from his bestseller Audacity of Hope and children's book of The I Sing, A Letter to My Daughters, and at least $6.8 million off of Dreams from My Father. According to NBC News, Michelle's book Becoming has become one of the best-selling autobiographies in history, and the former first lady reportedly received an advance of more than 60 million dollars from Penguin Random House. Rumor has it that the Obamas also may have negotiated a deal at Penguin Random House worth a reported $65 million, according to Publishers Weekly. And NBC News reported that the 44th president is also working on a memoir about his White House tenure. By the way, this power couple also brokered a big deal with Netflix. As Variety reported, the Obamas will potentially work on scripted and unscripted series as well as docu-series, documentary films, and features under the multi-year deal. The Obamas entered the White House as self-made financial successes, but according to MSN, they left the presidency worth 30 times more than they were worth in 2008, when Barack won his first term in the Oval Office. When he was running for re-election in 2012, Barack claimed his family could relate to all the other families out there. According to Yahoo, he told a crowd at a campaign event, Check this out, alright? I'm the President of the United States. We only finished paying off our student loans off about eight years ago, and that wasn't easy. Especially especially because when we had Malia and Sasha, we're supposed to be saving up for their college educations, and we're still paying off our college educations. Well, that was then and this is now. According to the New York Post, Michelle and Barack Obama were worth more than $135 million in 2018. I've got to go because I've got to go raise some more money. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.